Hey everyone, it's Tiv here. So I asked on Twitter if anyone wanted a video explaining universal strains and a glossary for the named ones. I got three people who said yes, and since I don't have that many followers yet, I figured, yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. I only have a script partially written, but I figured I'd wing that. So, on to the terms. Now, the term Universal Stream is actually just the system that I and most multiversally aware Cybertronians use to identify different realities from one another. Universes of the same kind of Universal Stream often have a common origin point, and thus traits and events reoccur in different streams of this type. These different types of Universal Stream are called Universal Clusters, and until recently, there had only been universes within a certain section of the multiverse catalog. That section is behind a sort of barrier that we call the Hasenfeld Membrane. Now, the Hasenfeld Membrane seems to be a barrier around universes that most of you would consider to be quote-unquote Hasbro universes. Since I'm exploring universes outside of Transformers in addition to the Transformers ones, I've taken to the liberty of creating several new Universal Stream designations. We'll explore those a little bit later. Now, the naming system for Universal Streams cross-references information from realities where Transformers and other fantastical elements are fiction. The universes where this is the case are known as Quadwall Streams and include the very universe I'm broadcasting to right now. While each type of stream can have Many wide and varied identifiers, they all fit into one of 11 categories identified with Greek letters. Each of these categories denote what form of fiction they exist as within quadwall realities. There's alpha realities, which include animated series. Beta, which include toy fiction. Gamma, which includes comic books. Delta, which is for live action content. Epsilon, which is content that exists as convention exclusive fiction. Zeta, which include prose stories and novels. Ada, which are audio centric universes such as audiobooks or radio po podcasts, things like that. Theta streams, which are live performances slash spoken word. Iota, which is internet only information. Kappa, which refers to video games, card games, games. Lambda, which is just still images and covers. Now on to the glossary of universe terms. Now for a good chunk of Transformers media, you can probably just use TFWiki to figure out what universal stream they belong in. But for a few of them that I'll end up referencing a lot, there's the Primax Dreams, which refer to universes that spring forth from timelines presented any in any of the Generation 1 media. Our uh, Dreams, which refer to streams in which Unicronian Bone-Horn Minicons and Cyberplanet Keys factor into a large portion of the universes as events. Tyrant Dreams, which refer to the live-action Transformers movies. And then Una End Streams, which you would know as the Align continuity. This includes the Transformers War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron games that I've played on my channel. As for a couple of Universal Streams that I've encountered and have studied myself outside of the Hasenfeld membrane, there's Amoron Streams, which refer to universes that most of you would identify as having started as bungee properties of a sort. Lucas streams, which refer to Star Wars events. And then, of course, there's Excelsior streams, which refer to universes in which the characters such as Spider-Man, Hulk, and the Fantastic Four are frequent. Other than that, uh... I think that's all I really have on the topic, honestly. Well, there's Lyra Streams, which I've chosen to identify the Mega Man universes as being. And there's... Well, I can get more into it later. 